Hello, my YouTube subscribers, my YouTube fans. Hi, this is me, Samantha, with the Legal Beagle. And today, I am going to go into my closet. Why? Because going to court, I want to express how important it is to go to court and or any job that you're going to and how important your appearance is, you know, really how it affects the court case. Uh, before I get started, I would like for you to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank those who have already subscribed. And starting in January, when you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to give a shout out to you. How about that? Yeah. Okay. First, let's deal with appearances, nails, and all of that. If you're going to go to court, and I know today in this fashion and time, a lot of people go to court and they have these long, long nails and, and they wear their bangle bracelets and all of that and they big loop earrings and they wear a lot of makeup and everything. And that is good if you are going out, hanging out with your friends and you use to make up. Well, in court, it's a little bit different. You know, they prefer nails like this that are basically trimmed or none nails like this, trimmed up, you know, don't wear a lot of makeup, wear it less as possible, uh, don't wear a lot of earrings. I'm going to show you that everything that I would wear if I was going to court or starting to do job or just, you know, just, you know, trying to do, uh, trying to look nice without overboarding, okay? So let's go in my closet. We're going to go in my my junk, this is one of my closets that I have. I have a lot of, I have uh, three so far, but this is one of them. And this is mostly my blouse closet and my sweaters. So if I was going to court, let's say I'm going to court and I still like to wear jewelry. Well, I know, I, I know that these right here, some of these are my earrings. They kind of mangled up a little bit, but these right here, I would not wear. I will wear, I have some smaller loop earrings that are more a fit 40 than uh, what I'm wearing now. And so that's what I will wear. I go through my little things. I usually have these organized, but you know, I don't. Uh, I go in here. I don't wear, ear, do not wear earrings like this. Somebody gave me these and I just, I just keep them. But don't wear earrings like this. Do not wear earrings like this. Do not wear long earrings. What you do is you find you some, I usually have in my ear, ear uh, drop box, I usually have, here they go, the perfect ones. These are loop and they're real small. They're not big. They're not even bigger than the, the ones like this. They're not big. They're very small. If you just really want to wear some earrings, these would be perfect. If you want to wear a necklace, I would suggest you wearing something that's basic like pearls and stuff. I have a, 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 a box that I keep my, th this is my closet. And I usually have a box that I have that's right here. And I'm gonna pull it, pull it out uh, with my one hand. There you go. And no, it's not paparazzi jewelry. I just, I just have the box. But it's certain, uh, Ear, uh, necklaces that I have chose to wear. Like I will wear this. This is a small necklace and it has pearls in it. Or, or I will wear something like this. This is a small uh, necklace and it has beads in it. But I don't wear anything that's like, I, you know, like this, this bangle bracelet, I will not wear because it has, it's, it's shaped. Especially when you're talking. It's, it's, it's a coin thing. I wouldn't wear this. I will wear something that's basic. Now, I have worn this to court. And believe it or not, a lot of y'all say, well, I got this from the thrift store. It is it's very, it's pink. It's, uh, I can wear it with a little bit of gray, something like that. And I love it. And I keep all my... my uh, necklaces in, in Ziploc bags, you know, so that I would know I wouldn't have to fiddle. Unlike what I got now that I need to do, but I don't wear, uh, I don't wear uh, a lot of bangle bracelets. I don't wear any bangle bracelets. I may wear a watch, 
you know, you may also, if you're going to uh, uh, wear a ring decoy, you just have to wear a ring decoy, you know, you can wear a thumb ring. But don't wear a lot of rings. Uh, I usually wear something like this or uh, let's see. I don't wear stuff like this. I don't wear this. I don't wear this. I wear just basic earrings like this. I will wear something like that. Or I will wear something like this. Something very basic. I also have basic rings like this. See, you don't you don't want to go to court. I wouldn't wear nothing like that. Uh I got I will wear, if you're going to wear a standalone ring like this, I would just wear this as a standalone ring. I wouldn't put nothing in it, nothing near or uh, or in it. So it'd be just a standalone ring, nothing. You don't want to wear a lot of uh, makeup. You don't want to wear a lot of jewelry because you don't, you know, you're trying to give the court the impression that uh, you are, you know, you, you're trying to be a clean cut person. So, okay, what you said, Samantha, what would I wear? Okay, let's start in the winter time. Sweat, if you have tattoos on your neck, if you do, I would suggest this, something like this, a turtleneck. Yes, I do. I would suggest stuff like this. If you have uh, tattoos that's, that, that's hard to cover up, let's say it's in the summertime. Well, even in the summertime, you know, I will wear something, you know, nice and neat. I'm trying to get this up, you know. Uh, nice and neat. I will wear a white shirt. I still will wear a white shirt. Or I will wear something that, let's say, is really, really hot. And I really want to wear something that's that I really want to wear to court. I really want to wear to court. I would usually find, I have a white shirt. That's see-through. That's it's not see-through, but it's more uh thin. I will wear that and wear that, that pink necklace. Let's say, for instance, this right here. No, I wouldn't wear this. Now I have worn this on an interview with a certain shirt, but I have a lot of clothes. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I have a ton of clothes. And now when I go to a job, and that I'm throwing this off the subject. When I go to a job and I see that, you know. It's, you know, it's supposed to be business appropriate, but half of the women in there are, are kind of like ratchet and stuff. Then I wear shirts like this. It's Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me put this like that. I wear shirts like this. It's classy. It's, it's loud. It's classy. I can be versatile and still, you know, I don't have to be with the in crowd. So you want to wear shirts like right now. I got a ton of them. I don't wear red to court unless I am the plaintiff. If I'm the plaintiff or I'm aggressive, then I will wear something black and then wear something red, oh, wear this red coat. So I've known to wear the red coat. But one thing about it is that you don't want to go to court like for this. I wouldn't wear this to court. You say, why? It's pretty. I may not have anything. Believe it or not, I'm going to tell you, I usually get my winter clothes in the summertime, my summertime, my summer clothes in the wintertime. I don't wear this to court. Even though it's cute and it's neat, it's not appropriate. You can go to the thrift store. I advise everybody, go to, if you can't afford clothes like this, I got this right here off the Navy base. I paid 99 cents for it. So, of course, I got like eight or nine things. Oh, here's the shirt. I need to button this up. This is the shirt that I was talking about right here. I will wear this. You don't want to wear, I don't care how hot it is or whatever. If you notice, it doesn't matter how hot it is, how, how bad it is. People, lawyers do not wear their arms out. And there's a reason and a purpose for this. They dress with, they wear, uh, uh, see how thin it is? I just want you to see. See how thin it is? They wear clothes so that they're representing the court. They want to be presentable. They know that appearance is very important. Let's say you said, Samantha, you know what? I don't have that kind of I don't have that kind of money to 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 do this. To go out and, and get that. Well, you can go to the thrift store. 
thrift store has so many uh uh so many things that you can get but if that's up to you let's say for instance i'm throwing it out there you say well you know what samantha i want to I, I don't I, you know i don't like bad clothes because really blue black and brown are the going colors of court gray go, you know neutral colors are the going court uh cases of court but let's say you you know you want to go to court now i'm gonna tell you i bought a shirt i wore and i wore with white pants this is a pretty shirt but i would not wear it to court i would not wear that to court this is what if i did have something to wear to court I will wear something like this. I will wear this with a like a little white uh shirt up under it, like a little cami, a little white shirt cami up under it, so that the judge will see that I'm uh, even though I'm a little bit more presentable than what it is. But for me, like I said, in my case, I have like I said, I have a ton of shoes. I you know, this is one of my closets that that I really need to organize. I, I don't I have like I said, is I have bins of clothes. I have my clothes sorted out. These are more of my summer clothes. I have my court clothes uh, up under there, skirts, stuff like that. Because you want to impress the court and let them know, hey, you know, I'm, if, if you're going to criminal court or you're trying to, especially if you're going to criminal court, you need to hide tattoos. You really do need to hide. Yeah, I know I need to clean out my closet because I got this. I don't wear, I, I keep my piercing in my nose. I used to wear, I used to put a little small Band-Aid or, or uh, some over it, but I don't do it anymore. So what you want to do is, if you're going, like I said, you're going to court, it's a way that you have to do it. You have to dress appropriate. You know, you have to, if it's winter, try as much as you can to cover up. Don't wear design, you know, don't be wearing, trying to wear the, them, them fur boots and, and all of that. Especially if you go on a criminal court. If you go on a criminal court, here's another, uh, some earrings that I would wear if I was going to court. So I have clothes, whereas if I'm going to court, you know, I want to look nice. I want to be presentable. Certain things I do not wear to court. I don't wear to court because I am trying to impress the judge. I want the judge to see me taken seriously. I want the judge to see me to be, be nice and stuff. And yes, I am opening up one of my closets because it's important to me. I got a closet just for coats and thick, thick sweaters. I wear that. Those are the ones that I wear that if I'm just, if I want to go, I don't want to wear a coat, but at the same time, I want to stay warm, but I want to still be presentative with the court. So that's what I wear. I try to wear basic colors. Uh, another thing is that when you're doing makeup, don't put a lot of makeup on. Don't wear a lot of jewelry, as I keep emphasizing. Make sure you go to court on time. And if you are unsure about how you need to dress at court, then you know what? Call somebody at, that, that has a little bit more professional background and ask them, say, hey, you know, I'm going to court tomorrow. I really want to impress this judge. I really want this judge to take me serious. You know, what do I need to wear? If your friends let you wear blue jeans, tight blue jeans with the fur stuff and 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 a big old fur coat and stuff. And oh, girl, that's sexy, girl. That's girl. You showing no, that no, that's the wrong thing. Like I said, it's certain shoes that I do wear to court. I wouldn't wear that. I wear every I, in the wintertime and the summertime. I would not wear to court. I don't wear flip flops. I don't wear uh, tank tops. If you do wear a tank top, if you do want to wear it like this, put something over it. So that it won't be, you know, you don't want to show all your tattoos. I do have tattoos. I have one on my back and one on uh, in the front. And But don't nobody know that. A judge don't know that unless he see me in public, then he know. But while I'm in his courtroom, I dress, I dress very casual, very, very professional. I don't put a lot of makeup on. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I don't wear, I wear certain type closed toe shoes. If I wear sandals, they are, they, they strap, they strap around the heel. Um, I don't wear them hooker shoes. I call them hooker shoes. Anything that's real high, I wear something that's kind of, uh, they give me a lift, but not high enough where it makes me look like I just came out the club. 
So I hope this video, this small video, is, is give you an idea of what you're doing. Yes, I need to clean up my closet. Next time you see me, this closet will be more organized because I need to, um, a lot of clothes that I buy, I donate to the um, Tennessee uh, career closet for those who are working minimum jobs with the state and they cannot afford clothes. But me, like I said, I usually go to the Goodwill. I usually go to... Uh, uh, thrift stores. I my biggest thing is clearance. I don't buy my winter clothes in the winter time. I buy them in the summertime. I buy a lot of winter sweaters and stuff. Cause you like I bought these from Walmart and I didn't pay but three dollars for them. And then when I went back, I they were a dollar. So I got them. I got the whole colors. Well, I found out that I got six sets of it. So I gave them away to Christmas. Um, I, when I go, I go straight to the clearance section of clothes because they're either discontinuing or they're, you know, they're trying to get rid of their summer or old edition. So that, that helps. Jewelry, I usually go to the thrift store. I usually go to clearance. I, I like jewelry that, that, you know, I just like jewelry. So it doesn't affect, but when I go like boots, certain boots and stuff, I know I don't, I don't wear I just don't because I want the court to, I want the, the court to feel like I'm giving them respect. I don't wear long earrings. Now, when I'm going to see a judge just for us to hang out, yeah, then you can dress any kind of way. You will now, you really can't, but I dress more of myself. I may wear certain things or, or, you know, I may, I wear jeans or if I'm, I may wear sandals or I may wear boots and stuff because we're getting ready to go out to lunch or I'm getting ready to interview them or whatever. But if I'm going before the court on a sit on a situation, then that's a different thing. So I hope, yeah, and I hope, and like I said, I don't have a problem donating clothes. Uh, ask me questions about it because one thing about it is this right here. Is that you know you the most important thing is that you want to look you want that impression to be uh wherever you go you want people to say you know what she don't have a lot or he don't have a lot but when he come to court he wears he you know he he shows me respect okay thank you guys.